Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to do another great Keurig recipe for you. Today we're going to do the caramel pecan iced coffee or you can make hot coffee. But in this video we're going to go ahead and do an iced coffee. So what you need is your favorite caramel pecan coffee pot. This one here is great value. And this Khalifa Farms almond milk creamer. It's lactose free. Pecan caramel, the same brand as the coffee. Um, I chose this recipe because I thought it was a little different. You know, everybody uh, can process dairy. So I try to bring different videos each time to satisfy pretty much some of every demographic. But like I said, you would need your favorite caramel pecan coffee pot and caramel pecan Khalifa Farms dairy-free creamer. So as you can see right here, it's made with real almond and coconut cream and it's only 15 calories. So of course, you're gonna need to go ahead and insert your pot like so. Put it in. Put that up. Put it in. Make sure everything is clear. As you can see right there. In this case, I'm because I have a tumbler, I'm gonna put it on uh put it on 10. You want to brew it strong, so you make sure you have that caramel pecan flavoring, and then we're gonna go ahead and hit brew. Depending on what kind of Keurig you have, some are newer and some are older. So hit brew. Make sure you keep your cup directly under the Keurig. And be careful because it's hot. And be on the lookout for a couple other videos while this is brewing. Uh, coming soon, we're gonna have the Duncan Fall for Maple video. And then of course, uh, review of the Green Mountain Pumpkin Spice. I've kind of noticed that different pumpkin spice Keurig pots taste different, but we'll get into that on another video, guys. So as it's brewing, like I said, I put it on 10 ounces, but of course, if you have, if you want it hot or you have a smaller mug like that one there, then you can definitely adjust the, like, the size you need. brewing so what I like to do some people like to wait but what I found is definitely give your just a good shake want to make sure everything is not clumped up in there and then right as it's getting ready to and brewing Start giving it a little pour because now this is the process as you can see it starts to mix in together. So this is just the recipe that we do it. So now that it's brewing, make sure it stops. A few excess drips. Have to drip right there, but it won't fit with this storage unit right here. So but yeah, once you do that, then what you want to do is grab a spoon, or if you have a tumbler like I do, you can go ahead and screw that tumbler on. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then what I like to do is give it a nice little swirl, like so. Be careful, make sure this lid is on, because if it comes off and it's hot, you can burn yourself. So as you do that, Give it a nice little stir and you can let it chill or you can put it directly in the refrigerator if you like it cold. If you want it hot, you can keep it in the tumbler. But what I'm going to do is I uh, keep this, let it chill for a minute and then I put it in the refrigerator because I don't like ice sometimes because it kind of watered down the flavor. So if you do that, try this recipe out. Again, this is the caramel pecan or pecan caramel, however you want to say it. 
with this Khalifa Farms almond milk creamer. It's not it's dairy free, no dairy. Here's the nutrition facts on the back, right there. And that's the barcode right there. So if you need to find it from your local grocery, you can. So, all right, guys, this is it. And like I said, you can drink this hot or cold. Look out for the next video that's coming. I put some links in the description of the type of creamer and the type of coffee. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.